Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI as we continue our day to run with Eleanor of France, our second attempt at her. And honestly, I do think this one is going to be a failure as well, at least a failure in the context of what we were hoping to do, which is a conquest victory through loyalty only. Um, quite frankly, we're just too far behind. Uh, we are too far behind, and we also have a massively overpowered Mapuche over here. And Mapuche is kind of the anti-Eleanor uh, because Mapuche, um, if we look right here, go to uh, Mapuche's main ability is that all their cities within nine tiles of their city with a governor gain plus four loyalty per turn towards their civilization. So they have a lot of extra loyalty gains that we are just going to have a trouble combating. And look, if he was relatively small, I think we'd be fine. But because he's this massive, that's a lot of plus four loyalty per turn that we're going to have to kind of push through. Now, can we do it? Obviously, we can because, I mean, we're flipping loyalty right there in that city. And we have flipped other cities as well. But this is, I think this is a loss. I think this is a loss. And here's the thing. I think this challenge is one that I don't think I can do on video. And the reason I say that is because I think this is the type of challenge that I need to be able to take my time and think through. Like when I play games on the video, I usually play kind of a little bit more by the seat of my pants and just kind of as they come, because I'm trying to go a little bit quick to keep the pacing going for the most part. Whereas when I play games on my own, I might take 20 minutes per turn because I'm like literally sitting there looking at every single possible thing, make sure everything's looking good, min maxing the most possible, whatever like that. I'm not going to do that on a video. That's just going to, that would be, we'd get 10 videos, you know, uh, t 10 videos long would be like we're 10 turns in or something like not quite that extreme. I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but my point being that I do take longer when I play by myself. And I think this type of, this type of, um, challenge, if you will, it's a self-imposed challenge is one that will need a little bit more thought process and pre-planning and min maxing and all that kind of stuff. It's just something I just, I don't do on the videos because it's just, it would just slow things down way too much. So I'm going to play this one out, but pretty highly confident that this is a loss um of some sort or another but we shall see so like i said if i do play this again this challenge i will do it offline and if i finish it i'll probably show you guys the end result just kind of say hey look i was able to do it but um it's just gonna be too hard for me to do i think on the videos themselves so let's go uh we are still at war of course with england i'm assuming she will not piece me out at all never and ever and ever because she hates my guts. Um, I do want to start flipping these up here at some point. I'm hoping we can get there. We are building a theater square there. One turn away from that. That's going to help a lot. We do have the bread of circuses there. We're building the theater square there. That's all good. Bank. I mean, another field cannon is, I guess, fine. Walls over here to kind of help defend this off a little bit. I mean, it's looking okay. That's about as good as it's going to get for right now. Let's just next turn and see what happens. Oh, he's already got GDRs. He's already got GDRs. I... I mean, I knew we were behind technologically. No no surprise there. I didn't know we were this behind technologically. <laughs> That's a bit more extreme than I was expecting. Um, Yeah, single city challenge is extremely tough on its own right. And then the extra things that we put on us is making it even harder. I mean, I guess we'll just start picking up some of the ones that we're missing right now. I mean, I do want the amphitheater. I wish we could buy it. We can buy it with faith, which I think we will do. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. In fact, let's go ahead and get one of these two as well. Probably the art museum, because I think that's going to be more helpful. I mean, oh, well, I say that. You know what? Let's go archaeology. Let's just do that, because we might be able to get us some, some stuff for the archaeology side of things. I mean, we could build as an archaeologist, 11 turns, or I could just go buy the things. Do I have some things that I could buy? Uh, a bit more expensive than I was hoping for. Um, honestly, I think we just go ahead and take that as it is. Do we, uh, can we get us a great writing at least? Get us a couple great writings. So that would help out quite a bit. Yeah, these are a lot cheaper. 
from our little enemy over here too. So that's actually really good for us. Cool. We'll take that. Uh, how are we looking here? This is our spy. We need you to not travel to a new city. Sorry. We need you to. I mean, seventy-four percent of fulfillment and rest. I feel like is probably the way to go here. Yes, I would love to put a listing post, but I don't know that we've got time for that. I don't remember what I had you doing over here, my friend. Uh, let's go hook up the bananas. Well, population is always good for us. We've got to start flipping one of these soon, right? Surely. Hello, tanks. I really don't want the Alliance, even though this would help us in a lot of other ways. But honestly, you're not that close to us. So I think we will take the Alliance for now. Our field cannons are actually pretty strong still. Uh, I was going to put a farm here, but one, two, three, that's actually not in the range of anybody. So never mind. Come put a farm over there. All right, completed the bank. That's going to give us a bit more money. More money is always good. Dude, we just go right back into bread and circuses again. I mean, we need housing. I mean, obviously a um, industrial zone of some sort could be useful as well. Um, it's really not in a good range for a lot of these cities, though. I mean, up here would be a range of one, two, three, four, five, at least two other cities or five, three other cities, actually. That's probably about as good as we're going to get. So we're going to go there, I think. You would love to finish your walls, but cannot right now. So, I mean, another field cane would be great. I think that's what this guy's here for, to turn this into an army. I mean, these guys are not armies right now either, though. So I guess for the moment... We should probably try and build up a little bit more defensiveness here. As bad as that's going to be. I mean, there's just no way we're going to produce anything here, is there? Not in the time that we have currently. I mean, I could put us down a harbor, an internal harbor or something. Good chunk of gold, actually. I mean, it's a worthless harbor in the sense of what it, it's not going to be able to get out and do anything, but it's a valuable harbor in other ways because it would give us a uh, we could get a lighthouse get another trade out things of that nature honestly that's probably about as good as we're going to get here don't know that it really matters where we put it trader uh really just whatever's going to be good going at this point We are lowering loyalty in there. We are lowering loyalty loyalty here. Getting pretty close. Yeah, I mean, looks okay. All right, well, he's coming for us at some point. I and mean, obviously, if he declares war, we're, we're done for. There is literally nothing we can do against him. Is he actually taking that? He's actually taking that city, isn't he? All right, Mr. Spy. Anywhere that we could send you that would help us? I mean, down here would help us a little bit. Flipping a little bit of loyalty there. You do have a governor. Um, I'm going to travel you there. If we can kick that governor out, that'll help us with a lot of the stuff around here.
Friendship expired. Let's go ahead and keep renewing these. I mean, this city's going to be taken before we can do anything about it, so that's just going to have to be how it is, but we probably should be, we probably will be able to flip the loyalty after it's taken, though. Uh, the tank ran away, surprisingly. Got extra food. Um, you just finished a field cannon, which is going to sw swing over here and group with that guy. I mean, I guess you can keep working on military stuff at this point. There's really not much else for you to work on. So, sure. A pike and shot. Another. Oh, so it's the same friendship that expired. Yeah, I mean, they're just starting to flip quicker now. Don't think we get this in seven turns. I, mean, I, can't, I can't imagine this guy does not just take that. But in theory, it'll be disloyal just from the get-go. And that would be good for us. Uh, okay, this guy's starting to gain there. Still losing a little bit slowly there. Uh, none of these other ones are really close right now. Did foment some unrest there. Awesome. Give us a little bit of a boost. Does that give us a promotion? It does. Awesome. Uh, we'll take the skies. I mean, any promotion is really good for us. Suddenly, you're only losing 1.9 per turn there. That's strange, but going to have to be how it is, I guess. Once we get these archaeological things, that'll help a lot. Farm there feels pretty good. I mean, do we have a place for this? Can I, I'd like to. I'd like to close this out and see what this looks like. I want to say no. Um, we might be able to trade with him here in a moment, though. There is little man has made Where would that actually go? Roads, but the crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. All right. Where would that actually go? Let's see. We want to look over there. We go. Okay. So it is this one. So it would just take the place of that. Uh, I mean, it might have been worth it. Fifteen gold per turn for basically the same net result for us. I mean, a little bit of difference in culture and faith, but really the big thing we want is just the fact that it's a great work in the first place. I mean, stock exchange gives us more money, which gives us more flexibility with certain things. Did lose suzerain status over here. Um, that's with a cod. So we'll get that back. I'm not really going to touch anybody else right now, though. I mean, two more points here probably might come in handy at some point. All right, so there's our relationship with the COD back. 2.7 still, 1.9. I mean, this is slower now, which is really not great. I wonder why they're suddenly, I guess because of the governor there. I mean, we're at an 84% chance now, which is obviously considerably better. Guess we'll keep working on that. Kind of flip-flopping between gaining and losing loyalty over here at Kagawana. So hopefully we can get that dealt with at some point. Um, we need to assign you back to... Skeen here, Skeen. I believe was where we were putting you so that you could protect the city from the volcanic eruptions. But as far as governor title, 
I mean, we still haven't even focused on Reina or Moksha yet. Didn't really feel like we were in a good place to really get the most benefit from it. I don't think we need anything else with Alpha Amani right now. I'm okay with where Victor's at. I'm okay with where Liang's at. Honestly, I do think I want to go and grab one of these. Probably Reina, although Magnus, or sorry, Moksha, we do have a bit more faith than we have with Reina, but we want to use our faith for other things. So we're going to go with Reina for now. Um, I mean, I guess we'll send you up here for now. Speaking of faith, how are we looking on the faith side of things? I and mean, we're still okay. There is some apostles and things like that running around over here. That if we had us, well, here's an inquisitor. We can come over here and mop that dude if we really wanted to. Is this guy, yeah, this guy would be fine, right? And we have an alliance. Can we kill you even though we have an alliance? Yeah, we can. Actually, I don't know if we have an alliance. I just realized that might not be you. I was thinking that was uh, Jerry Varman, but it might actually be somebody else. Oh, he's come here. Okay. Yeah. About to get our theater square down here, which will help out a bit as well. All right, there's Nidoros. I mean, it's got to be losing loyalty pretty quickly. Yeah, it's, it's actually going to be even quicker. In a way, he helped us out with that. Uh, we lose the Inquisitor here. Most likely. But we do kill the Apostle. Really probably what I need to do is just get us another Apostle. I know we got the Inquisitor up there. We got one over here. We'll do that. All right, we're gonna chill for a second with you. I do think you can you can heal up in a holy sag, right? Can't you? Uh, we're gonna pass on that. We don't care about your conquest because we're just gonna get it back ourselves. Somebody is dominant culturally over us. We do need to get us the amphitheater here. And do we have enough faith for the next thing? We do not, but we will next turn. So we'll hold off on that. Let's go ahead and finish the field cannon, just because I think we'll need it pretty soon. Um, wow, we they must have an anti-spy here. Which is rough. Uh, so, we'll start with getting sources for sure, but even that's not going to be enough to really help us out. In the grand scheme of things, I don't think. All right, field cannon. You are still chilling, right? Why are you... Oh, because of this thing? I'll just chill for now. I guess you've explored everywhere. Oh, dude, there's going down faster as well. So, honestly, them taking that city helps us with both of these situations. Tons of apostles floating about. Uh, no, we're going to say no to that. Don't want to be a part of any of that mess. If we can help it. All right, so you have what kind of promotion? I mean, we'll take Orator, but I don't actually want to take the promotion just yet. I actually want to use you for some conquest stuff here. Um, take that bop. that one. We might lose one of these Inquisitors, but I mean, it's fine. Getting a lot of a lot of extra credit for our stuff, though, so that's helping us a bit. Even if we ultimately end up losing one. Do 
Do you actually have to be on land for me to be able to merge with you? Wait, do we not have armies yet? Am I being dumb? Ah, oh, we don't have armies yet. Okay, I am being dumb. Um, in that case, you move back. You move back. That's fine. Honestly, keep up with the Brand Circuses for now. Come down here and buy us our we'll do the art museum this time. You can do another attack somewhere. I mean, in a way, I do still want you to. Well, I say I want you to die. We don't really have anywhere to put the stuff if you die. Uh, we need some great works of writing. Oh, I forgot to do this earlier. I saw this earlier and totally forgot about it. We take both of those. That's going to help with this situation up here a bit. Possibly with this one as well, which is still going down. Hmm. I mean, we need other, other things, obviously. But... Don't know. I doubt we can buy great works of art and stuff. Uh, hey, Gold, that's not bad. Okay, nobody else wants to sell me anything because we just don't have enough money for it. But that did help a little bit, getting that extra one around here. Hey, it's three different, uh, three different artists. That works. I mean, we don't care too much about theming, but it, we might as well if we have the opportunity. So, yep, that looks good. Let's see if we can heal you up for a bit right now. More denouncements, uh, because I converted one of your cities. You and I come by road or rail, but economy destroying rainforest for economic gain. <sighs> We're about to flip this city here in a few turns. We're six turns away from that one. We did flip this one, and this one will be flipping in one turn. So we will definitely keep that. More error score is awesome. Did lose a suzerain down here again. Can get it back, which we might as well. Got the interest there, so again, one more turn there. Um, you got a promotion, which we do want to get. I'm going to go with the linguist. I mean, I like the ace driver a lot as well, though. Uh, what are we going to do here? We've got to start repairing some things.
see where the coal's at. Might as well. Field cannon still chill. You, Mr. Apostle, I, I guess we'll go ahead and take your promotion now. And send you out to do some conversions else in, in places. Stock exchange for more gold. We definitely need the gold right now. Apparently I should have um, done that. But if we flip this and we drop him out of the game, does, do we get our spy back? We'll see next turn, I guess. I don't think I want an alliance with you. I mean, the religious alliance helps because it helps us do a little bit more religious stuff. The uh, cultural alliance does not really help us. We'll definitely be keeping you. Do you have another city somewhere? No, one, two, three, four. No, you're out of the game. Do we get our spy back? Yeah, it was this one right here, right? Bergen here. Um, I honestly don't know what I want you to do. I mean, my, my advisor is suggesting a Curasar, but I guess we can do that. I mean, having a little bit more military strength, even if we're just technologically weak, might still make us look strong enough that people don't want to mess with us. Just because there might be like a threshold where they're like less likely to try anything. Yeah, this one's losing loyalty very, very quickly now. As is this one. Uh, these other ones are still just quite a bit too strong right now. But we'll work through them. One by one, I guess. We're actually not too far from Lahore down here as well. Lots more great work options up here, but I don't know that either of these will be helpful to us, right? Remind me again, is it nine tiles? It is nine tiles. So, um, presumably there's a city right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, Nidoros would potentially help with that one. One, sorry. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a little too, too far for Kaguana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That one's definitely way too far. Uh, yeah, no, so yeah, only Nidoros would be t potentially helpful. None of the other ones are really close at all. How long until we get our next... Yeah, we're about to get some gold back here actually next turn. Uh, we've got a lot of deals coming up here next turn. So I'm not too worried about the gold loss here. And so Nidoros does have that. So we might try and deck out Nidoros here in a moment. Actually, Nidoros has got a lot of options. So maybe that'll help with whatever is going on right here. I'm going to go ahead and engage in battle here. I don't think it's really going to hurt us that much. I mean, at some point we want relics and things, but I think we'll be fine with that. Uh, there's Genevieve back. Good for you. I mean, I think if we send you anywhere, we send you over here to Lahore because this one's not far off from being able to start flipping. Although we are not currently the most. Maybe we send you over here. See if we can get any more sort of visibility over on this side of things. All right, you're just not in a place where you can do much of anything. I mean, 63% still technically puts it in our favor. Not by much. I think we'll still go for it. I mean, worst case, we lose it and we just keep going. You know, we rebuild another one. Alrighty, you're still on alert. Cool. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. Um, again, I I just don't know at what point we just call it quits because we're just realized for sure there's no way. I mean, I think we're already at that point, but... I kind of still want to see how how many of these cities we can take. We did just take two more cities there. We're going to take two more cities here in a couple turns. Um, I mean, we are starting to push out. And the more we push out, the more we can push out, if that makes sense. It definitely will start to domino. Uh, it's just whether or not that domino is way too late or not. So we'll keep playing. 
But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.